So today it's a little adventure. Um, we're going to detect at this uh, 1930s property here, but uh, before it was a property, it was a farm, and the street actually stopped here and went that way, uh, down where there's this driveway now. So there's been a lot of changes here over the years, but uh, we'll see what we can find, and then we'll head to the park, which is right over the creek, uh, and see what we find there. Stay tuned. Well, my, my first signal of the day, <laughs> foiled again. Just a piece of crumpled up foil. Well, we'll see what we get next. Well, about six inches from where that foil was, my first coin of the day. It's just a memorial, but hey, it's a coin. I was getting a scratchy signal. Uh, didn't say it was really deep, but I do believe I see silver right here and I do it's just a Washington but hey it's silver I'll take it awesome you know what they say a day without silver is a day without sunshine <laughs> And I think I turned off the camera. Oh, I didn't turn off the camera. I think I turned it off a little too soon because here are two more silver quarters. Or wait, that might be a, yeah, that looks like a clad, but that looks like a silver. It sure does. 1942 definitely is. Cool. Well, let's see if there's more. Well, uh, that might have been it. That might be why it was so scratchy. It was three of them. It was two silvers and a clad together. Happy in the ground. So, all right, we'll clean it up. Well, the hole keeps on giving. Uh, there's a silver wartime nickel in there as well. Awesome, we'll clean it up. You'll see it right here. Well, I really gotta leave the camera on. Here's another silver quarter uh, in the same clump. That's uh, three silver quarters, a clad quarter, a silver nickel, and uh, a couple of pennies were all in this same haul. So, hey, cool. Well, that was an amazing spill. I think I'm done. <laughs> uh, three silver quarters, a clad quarter, a couple of clad dimes, uh, silver nickel, a bunch of pennies. It's like somebody dropped their piggy bank right here. So, all right, on to the next. Yippee, another silver quarter. I think this one's a lonely one. <laughs> well, finally, a cool find. Way down there in the hole. And I don't know whether you can see that or not, but I can. Oh, I gotta get it very carefully. It's a spoon. Wow. I don't know whether it's silver or silver. It looks like silver plate, but uh, cool. I love I love finding spoons. <laughs> kind of a weird mixed signal here, and uh, I don't know what this is, but this is a big old shotgun shell. <laughs> so. I'm, I'm always amazed at how many shotgun shells and shell casings and bullets I find uh, in these houses, in the, in the yards, in these neighborhoods. Um, back in the day, I guess there was a lot of shooting going on. <laughs> cool. So, one thing to note about your detector, when it says how deep it is, most detectors are assuming it's a, it's a coin of a certain size and it's based off of that so the larger your target the shallower it thinks it is so it said that this was a quarter about an inch deep <laughs> and it was this thing uh, about eight inches deep and I kept digging because there's some interesting junk in the ground here it used to be a dump um, 
but uh, it definitely not is not a quarter. So on to the next. Well, at first I thought it was jewelry, <laughs> but I think it's just a a lid to something. Oh well, on to the next. Well, this is a cool old relic. I thought I was digging a uh, a penny, but this is not a penny and it had this backing I think it was another decorative piece but I'll clean it up you'll see it right here that's very cool all right we are back in this little park in town do a little detecting and uh, to do a little testing just to see um, how things read on the uh, detector I have a Nokia macro simplex plus um, but uh, I know a lot of people do this, but one thing is it just baffles me and I'll, I'll show it to you in a minute. So stay tuned. Well, the first find of the day is a clad quarter. Uh, it almost a surface find. It was right under the grass, so hasn't been here that long. But uh, hey, at least I've got a quarter. Well, I'm not quite sure what it is. Looks like some kind of a piece of a locking mechanism. Uh, I don't know. I'll clean it up. If it's anything, anything interesting, you'll see it right here. Ah, uh, nuts. <laughs> After all that digging around tree roots, it was just a giant bolt. And yet another reason why you don't just go sticking your hands in the dirt. Nice sharp piece of glass there. That sounded awesome. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a little bit of an experiment here. Yeah, all for science. <laughs> I have five pennies here. I have a an Indian head penny. I have a Lincoln head penny from the teens. I have a memorial penny from the 60s. I have a memorial penny from the 2000s. And then I have a smushed penny. One of those souvenirs you run through uh, and you get it as a souvenir from different places so the point of this is to see um, how they sound in the machine and the numbers that you get from each of them and the thing that confuses me is and a, a lot of people don't know this uh, the Indian head penny and the Lincoln cent up until um, up until about the 40s they were made of the same exact thing. Same weight, same diameter, same composition, 95% copper, 5% tin and zinc. So they, in theory, they should sound the same, but sometimes they don't. So right here is the Indian head scent. And it's coming up 6566. And right here, is the Lincoln scent from the teens 70 same size same weight same diameter same composition but somehow the machine <laughs> knows they're different I, I, I for the life of me I can't understand why they should come up exactly the same now let's add to the mix the other three so we have the uh, memorial scent from the 60s which is 95% copper but 5% zinc so it's not tin and it's coming up 7780 and then there's the memorial or the uh, memorial scent from the 2000s which is almost entirely zinc and it's coming up 67 and then the smooshed penny coming up in the 50s and I think that's simply because of the uh, shape of, and the thickness and all that um, that it changes so again very very different results and in the headphones they sound exactly the same uh, you can't tell them apart by sound either and now for the next experiment very similar here's a clad quarter and over here is a silver quarter. And I'm just gonna see. Ninety.
92.93. So there is a slight difference between the two, which you would expect if, since they're made of different materials. And then the clad dime, 77.78, and a silver dime, 80, solid 80, 81. So, so the silver does sound a little higher, but again, you can't tell what something is necessarily just by just by the sound and the numbers. You have to dig it to be sure, but it gives you some idea. Well, that'll do it for this yard. The lady, lady's nice. She just didn't want me doing the entire yard, uh, which is fine. I did halfway up to the house. Uh, most of what I found was junk. Uh, Scrap iron, aluminum foil, whatever this stuff is. Um, part of a mason jar lid. Oh, that sounded awesome in the ground. Uh, this giant pull tab thing. Uh, but I did find a couple of interesting things. Uh, you know, a silver plated spoon. Look at that. It's coming off. That's a really cheap spoon. Not quite sure what this is, but uh, the top to something. Um, and this looks like a piece of something from furniture so we'll clean that and see what we find hey, don't forget to hit like and subscribe so all right see you in the next time